let knowledge flow like a river without any hindrance don't make it like a stagnant design and analysis a pile by excel as per is 456-2000 and fully automatic journey started on 11th august 2020 today is a happy birthday of structural design only Hello everybody, how are you? I am P.S. Chatterjee with you. Today I am going to explain how we can prepare Excel performer for the design of RCC board cast in situ file. I hope you are going to enjoy this video. Before start of the lecture, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Steps for the design calculation. Step 1. Select the condition of the soil from soil report. Number 1. Pile on sand or normally loaded clay. Pile in preloaded clay. Preloaded clay. Preloading of clay is a method that can reduce settlement of soft soil by increasing its bearing capacity. Before construction, some estimated load is stacked over the construction area to consolidate the soil of that area and it enhance the bearing capacity of the soil. Head condition of pile. Number 1. Pile header 3. Pile cap with less than 3 piles. Number 2. Pile head type fixed. Pile cap with more than 2 piles. Step 3. Selection of soil from soil report. Soil type. Sand, very loose sand dry, loose sand dry, medium sand dry, dense sand dry, very loose sand submerged, loose sand submerged, medium sand submerged, dense sand submerged. Among clay, soft clay, medium stiff clay, steep clay, very stiff clay, hard clay. Stiffness fact. The lateral soil resistance for granular soil and normally consolidated clay which have varying soil modules in modeled according to the equation P by Y is equal to new H into Z where P is equal to lateral soil reaction per unit length of pile at a depth Z below ground level. That is length EF. Y is equal to lateral pile deflection and new age modulus of subgrade reaction for which the recommended values are given in the table 3. Selection of soil from soil report, sand and norm normally loaded clay, stiffness factor for pile in sand and normally loaded clay, stiffness factor T in meter is equal to fifth root of EI by new age, where E is equal to young modulus of pile material in mega newton per meter square. I is equal to moment of inertia of the pile cross section in meter to the power 4 and new age is equal to modulus of subgrade reaction in mega newton per meter cube. This is our table 3 and value of new age is given here. It, this is recommended blues. Very loose scent 0 to 4 recommended blows. Module of subgrade reaction for granular soil new wave in kilonewton per meter cube. Recommended N value for different type of sand and corresponding new age value of sand where new age is equal to modulus of subgrade reaction. Very loose sand, your N value will be 0 to 4 and when it is dry, 
new age value of new age less than 0.4 when it is submerged new value of new age will be 0.2 for loose sand n value will be 4 to 10 and for dry new value new age new age is equal to 0.4 to 2.5 for submerged 0.2 to 1.4 like that Stiffness factor, the lateral soil resistance for preloaded clay with constant soil modules in model according to the equation P by Y is equal to K. K is equal to small k1 divided by 1.5 into 0.3 B or D, where K is the degrees modulus of subgrade reaction as determined from load deflection measurement on a 30 cm square plate and B the width of the plate diameter in this in our case it will be a diameter the recommended value of k1 are given in table 4 this is our module of modules of subgrade reaction for cohesive soil and k1 for soft clay QU, value of QU, unconfined compression strength will be 25 to 50 and K1, small K1 will be 4.5 to 9. Medium steep clay, 50 to 100 and small K1 will be 9 to 18. Similarly, very steep clay, 200 to 400 and K, value of K1, 36 to 72 for hard clay. QU value of QU is equal to greater than 400 and K1 is equal to K1 greater than 72. For QU less than 25, K, K1 may be taken as 0, which implies there is no lateral resistance. So, this is our pile, the circular pile. So this is a circular pile. AG gross area is equal to pi by 4 d square. DC core area is equal to D minus 2 into CO minus phi 2. D dia of pi CO clear cover phi 2 dia of the binder and AC is equal to core area is equal to pi by 4 dc square but there is code dia p is equal to vertical load on pile a is equal to horizontal load on pile g unit weight of concrete le embedded length lf depth of fixity l1 height of pile above foundation level total length of the pile is equal to l is equal to le plus l1 E young modulus of file material 5000 into square root of xck into 10 to the power 6. Moment of inertia pi by 64 d to the power 4. Radius of gyration square root of i by ag. Slenderness ratio length of the column divided by d. Self weight of file up to depth of fixity wt pile is equal to g into l the length of the column into pi by 4 d square. Self weight of pile is equal to z into l into pi by 4 into d square. Total factor load at, at a depth of fixity PU is equal to 1.5 into P plus weight of pile. Factor moment at a depth of fixity MU is equal to 1.5 into H into L column for free head. Factor moment at depth, fix, depth of fixity MU is equal to 1.5 into H into column length divided by 2 for fixed head pi.
axially loaded compression member. All compression members are to be designed for a minimum eccentricity of load in two principal directions. Minimum eccentricity, that is E minimum, for the design of column E minimum is equal to L by 500 plus D by 3 subject to minimum of 20 mm where R, L, small l, length of the column and D is the lateral dimension of the column in the direction of load under consideration. Actually loaded compression member. After determining the eccentricity, the section should be designed for combined axial load and uniaxial bending. However, as per simplification, when the value of the minimum eccentricity calculated as above is less than or equal to 0.05d, code permits the design of short, short axially loaded compression member by following equation. PU is equal to 0.4 FCK into AG plus 0.67 FY into ASC. Per PU, axially load, axial load ultimate, AG gross area of concrete and ASC area of reinforcement. This is a curve, but from we have to con this curve the curve for depth of fixate y axis lf by r or lf by t and x axis l1 by r or l1 by t equivalent cantilever length in sand y axis l y d and x axis new h equivalent cantilever length in clay y axis l y d and x axis k fixed and moment for equivalent Fixed end moment for equivalent cantilever. The fixed end moment MF of the equivalent cantilever is higher than the actual maximum moment M in the file. The actual maximum moment may be obtained by multiplying the fixed end moment of the equivalent cantilever by, re by a reduction factor M given in figure 5. This is a reduction factor carp. Reduction factor M for free head file 5A and 5A, 5B for fixed, fixed head file. Helical reinforcement. The advantage of helical reinforcement for file is not possible because we have to provide this spacing or pitch between two and adjacent helical ring should be should not be less than 150 and this is the calculation for helical reinforcement Column with helical reinforcement according to 38.4 of the code. The strength of compression member with helical reinforcement is 1.05 times the strength of the similar member with lateral time. Therefore, the given load and moment should be divided by 1.05 before referring to the chart. Clear power, not less than. 50 mm. The minimum diameter for the links of spiral cell shall be minimum diameter of links of spiral cell be 
8 mm. The spacing of links or spirals will be not less than 150. Stiffness ring, preferably 16 mm diameter at every 1.5 mm center to center. Minimum 6 number of vertical bars will be used for the circular spire. Minimum diameter of vertical bars shall be 12 mm. The clear horizontal spacing between two adjacent particle bars shall be four times the maximum aggregate side in concrete. If required, the bar can be bundled to maintain such spacing. Minimum grade of concrete to be used for board piling shall be M25. For Sabekova's concrete, requirement specified in IS456 shall be followed. The minimum cement content shall be 400 kg per meter cube. However, with proper mixed design and use of proper admixture, the cement content may be reduced, but no, no cases cement content shall be less than 350 kg per meter cube. Minimum seal percentage 0.4% of cross section of stem for MS rod and 3% of cross section of stem for HYSD bar. And this is all about my design and analysis of RCC board cast in C2 file by Excel part 1. I hope you enjoyed it. Part 2 will be released soon. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also be evaluated by performance with your valuable comments. Thank you.